Okay, so Frenzy Giant started coming. Look at that. The army marching behind me. Here we go. Look at these bad boys. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. They look definitely cool. It feels like freaking, I don't know. It's unreal. Look at all these Frenzy Giants <laughs> coming after me, man. This wall isn't gonna save me. Okay, why that other Frenzy Giant went to the... Why these Frenzy Giants go to the room? What is going on, man? Why? Just why? Why did they go to that room? Hey, yo, yo, I guess it's me, Epsarik, and welcome to Last and Earth Survival. So right now, we're gonna be raiding this base named Lex. But first of all, let's get back into our base and let's take some equipment because I'm not gonna go to the raid without any armor. Well, here we go. That's much better. So let's enter his base right now. And I've done a little bit of research on this base and it doesn't really look like this dude is gonna be super rich. But at the same time, he isn't gonna be super poor and I'm not even sure if it's really, really worth it to use that one C4, but why not? I think I'm gonna place my C4 over here on this door Hopefully there isn't gonna be like a CB radio or something in front of the door Here we go. We just exploded that and this is gonna be like the whole base There is gonna be only one chest But if everything is all right, we should be able to get some great great loot inside of this one chest Probably it's not gonna pay off my 1c4 But hey, let's just open that up and inside of this chest We got four guns and full four full durability guns and not even bad guns So I mean it definitely was kind of worth it for 1c4 So I'm done with that wave of zombies and it of course definitely wasn't like the best raid that I've ever done But you know better probably than nothing would be really cool if I could enter his base here, but for some reason, this is this whole place here is just metal. What? I was able to pick up his berries through the wall? What? So what I try to say, it would be really cool if I could enter this place and at least see how it looks like. I just, I'm really curious, but yeah, every single wall, every single side here is just with metal, so I can't do anything. Right now, we are at the police department, and what's up, what's up, Raider, and I totally forgot to raid that base, so gameplay-wise, it's gonna get one, loot-wise, it's gonna get four, and overall score is gonna be 2.5, I guess. That's totally perfect, because I had to do a lot of tasks to do that raid, I wasted a C4, and uh, whatever, you know what, let's open up five crates, and I think after that, we'll go quickly to uh, Bunker Alpha, I'm gonna open up a couple of crates over there and then we might maybe grind some police department We'll see and we already got one box and I'm not gonna be opening up these boxes because like we said We will start gathering like 30 of those boxes and then we'll open them up all together So it's kind of lame. You know what? It feels bad I really feel bad because I love opening up these crates But I believe opening up uh, like 30 of them together like full rack or full trunk would be better than opening up them one by one And chopper event has spawned on the map So we are definitely gonna go to that chopper event because we can get there some free free guns I'll only to craft a special chest at the base because look at that we already started gathering these boxes and they look pretty damn cool and I just can't wait until we're gonna gather like like I said full rack of those boxes and we're just gonna open all of them together and imagine that how many weapons we're gonna get so I haven't crafted a lot of new chests for a really really long time so let's start from this small box and why do I need to upgrade it like okay 10 planks iron and nuts here we go took bolts planks and blah 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 so let's upgrade it over here bada bingus and to upgrade this chest to a trunk we will need steel nails and and it Oak, okay. Well, luckily I had everything, so let's upgrade that over here, and we are obviously gonna paint it into white. Here we go, now it's gonna be white, and as soon as I gather some more steel plates, I'll upgrade it into a rack. But now let's start blazing these boxes over here, and soon, soon we should be able to gather enough of these boxes and we'll open them up. Oh boy. It's really weird to say that, but somehow it's kind of interesting to have some sort of a goal here in the game. So here we go, I'm at Bunker Alpha, and today what I wanna do is try to kill the blind one with melee weapons, because I have never done that in the past, and in my new account, I want to gather as many guns as possible, and from what I calculated, you will need, let's say, at least, like, gun uh, and a half, two guns to kill the blind one, like, let's say two shotguns, totally unmodded shotguns to kill the blind one, and to gather 30 coupons, that's gonna cost us six guns, and that's not efficient, so I think it would be pretty cool to use melee weapons to kill that blind one, and that's what I'll try to do right now, but before I'll go there, uh, let's open up this orange and green crate, and we got here a shotgun, very, very nice, and here we got an M16, okay, not gonna say no to shotguns, but I also want to go to the third floor and try to kill these frenzy giant once again just like we killed last time gathering all of them together into one place but this time i didn't take any grenades because i kind of forgot to take them so i'll try to use spread shots on these frenzy giants and maybe that's how it's gonna work i don't even think that i have a lot of grenades at the base but at least if i took two grenades i think that would have been better but in any case let's just go through the oopsies didn't mean to use my shotgun over there but the third floor is pretty efficient and i still want to open up red crate because i have only 16 red tickets here and let's just have some fun in bunker alpha okay so here we go let's get 
gather all of these dudes. Boom. You're gonna go through this, gathering all of these toxic spitters. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Hopefully, they're not gonna kill me. They will definitely shred my SWAT set a little bit, but again, that's not a big deal. All I care about is just to do one valuable shot. Here go, let's take those, let's take those. Now gonna do one. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of them. That's what I'm talking about, mate. Okay, let's go just like that. And now I'm gonna do one spread shot. Oh my goodness, why? Some of them are super fast. Here go, I will, I spread shotted most of them, so that's fine. And I still don't think they've done a lot of damage here, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Just gonna let them follow me. And, uh, okay, they're gonna definitely attack me from over here. Yeah, look at that, they're just shredding my armor, man. Okay, some Toxic Spitter got stuck, some Toxic Spitter did not, so I'm just gonna wait over here. They all came into one place. Not gonna go over here and spread shotting all of them and did I die? Not really. Woo. Ah, that was still juicy. In any case, for me, at least it was juicy. Well, they destroyed my SWAT armor. Was it worth it? Probably. Well, in any case, who cares about that SWAT armor? Got a lot of SWAT armors. Well, let's pick up tickets from these dudes. Well, maybe, well, it wasn't super efficient, and I do know that some people do not like this kind of play style. You know, Cyric, you have to save as many sets as possible, but that's what we are doing in our new account, but in this account, let's just have some fun. Okay, so I accidentally aggroed this Frenzy Giant, so we're gonna kill him, but the rest of the Frenzy Giants are gonna die from spread shots. Here go boom just die mate yeah a red ticket yes indeed thank you very much okay gonna clear these two zombies from that room and i will definitely gather all of these frenzy giant this time because i do know that now i can just hide behind the wall and wait until they are gonna come and that's gonna take a little bit more time but i still believe that with that shotgun spread shot i'm gonna save a lot of weapons and uh, it would be cooler if i definitely took grenades i feel sad for not taking them so here go we're almost done here with the third floor and this was the place when previously the generator was located but they moved it to the fourth floor so yeah Imagine if dungeons, right? Imagine if dungeons would be on the fifth floor, you know, let's say if to access dungeons, you will still have to go to Bunker Alpha. I don't know how I would feel about that because I definitely want a completely new location rather than just Bunker Alpha. I feel like a lot of people are just bored of that Bunker Alpha. So I would definitely love to have dungeons in a different place, but it would be still pretty cool to activate that, let's say generator to access dungeons. I think that would be pretty cool. And I really need those grenades, man. Oh my God, like they just go back to the base and take those grenades. Well, I plan to go back to the base and take those grenades but we just got this rest stop event so let's do the rest stop event and then let's take grenades and then let's shred 10 frenzy giants at the same time probably there's just gonna be nine but yeah you know what there's a lot of peeps i am gonna spread shot all of them just at the same time look at that gonna go over here and uh, okay they're trying to shoot each other boom just spread shot at all of them was that worth it probably i don't know if what is going on that dude is just totally confused and I killed all of them without... And still, these dude, two dudes are still even yellow on the minimap. I don't understand what have I done there, but Spreadshot definitely maybe did something cuckoo to their brain. I seriously can't wait until I unlock this rest up in my new account. This will be such an amazing place to get loot. Okay, so let's try to loot this chopper, and we already got here one broken shotgun, one broken M16, and we plus got a box, and you know what we are gonna do with these boxes. And you know what? I'm really excited that now we have two accounts, and some of you might be like, well, Cyric, what are you talking about? What two accounts? Because for those who didn't know, I started a new account from the beginning, and there we're trying to grind that bunker alpha. We're trying to play as efficient as possible to teach new players and advance players with all the tips that I know and etc and etc and it's pretty cool but in this account we can do things that we cannot do in the new account so we have like two types of content here and it's pretty interesting here go let's place that box back over here boop pretty cool it gives some sort of satisfaction so I'm happy with the choice that we've made that we have to keep these boxes Oof! I have seven grenades at the base noise definitely let's take them okay so we here are at the third floor and I am genuinely excited to start doing it I want to see if we'll be able to kill these nine uh, frenzy giants all together at the same time okay so we're gonna start gathering frenzy giants here go let's take this one he's coming after me very nice and I think this is the path that I will choose to go now let's gather another frenzy giant come to me yep okay now two frenzy giants are following me very nice and i also have my sprint skill there on the down corner but i'm gonna activate it when i will really really need it i still know that i'll be able to gather this frenzy giant so let's take him here we go boop so three frenzy giants are after me and i do know that there is still a lot more frenzy giants but i'm gonna gather all of them it's not gonna be a big deal i'm just hoping that none of the frenzy giants are gonna corner me and start going the other way i think i might wait for some of them it's not a big deal let's just wait at least for like two frenzy giants three frenzy giants because i am really scared that if i start going too fast some of the frenzy giants will just turn back and then i'm gonna get cornered and then i'll die from 10 punches so okay so we already have here one frenzy giant let's just wait for some other dudes and i just keep trolling that frenzy giant until his friends come closer i'm just coming to this place now he 
goes to the other side. Here we go, and now we'll go back over here so that he comes, and he just stays there in one place. So this is how I keep trolling that schmuck. And I see that more Frenzy Giants are coming, and plus that turret already started shooting me. Okay, so other Frenzy Giants are gonna come, not a big deal. Now let's just start running faster, and let's gather the rest of the Frenzy Giants. Here we're gonna take this one. Come to me. Okay, let's take this Frenzy Giant. Let's take that Frenzy Giant. Pretty cool. A lot of Frenzy Giants are coming after me. This is definitely pretty fun. You know what we'll try to do? Let's gather this one. Let's take this. Woo! Woo, baby. This is... It's getting hot here. And I want to gather that one more Frenzy Giant. That's going to take a little bit of extra time, like extra five minutes. But is it worth it, maybe? Okay, so Frenzy Giant started coming. Look at that. The army marching behind me. I mean, after me is the same. It is totally the same. So what I'll try to do is just be hide behind this wall and I'll keep walking over there and hopefully they aren't gonna come from the other side. Hopefully they're gonna stuck over here. Here go two Frenzy Giants started already punching me and I think there's four, five Frenzy Giants, right? At least five. Yeah, indeed, they are punching me so I'm just gonna stay here in one place and wait for the others. Here we go, there's the sixth Frenzy Giant and we can see the seventh coming in. Here we go, there's the seventh Frenzy Giant. Is there gonna be an eighth one? I'm not sure. Yes, indeed, there's the eighth Frenzy Giant and plus there's one more in that other corner. We could could definitely gather him to use a grenade on him. You know what? Let's do this. Why not? Let's do it. Here we go. All Frenzy Giants are just in one place now, so I can just go, and it all going to be fine. Here we go. Look at these bad boys. <laughs> they have no clue what's going on. I do know that I could use probably spread shot on them and save these grenades, but at the same time, I want to use grenades because it's more fun and more people have grenades. Oh my god, look at that. They look definitely cool. It feels like freaking, I don't know, it's unreal. Look at all these Frenzy Giants <laughs> coming after me, man. So there's eight of them. Gonna take that ninth Frenzy Giant and we will be Gucci. Would be cool if Turret would start shooting these Frenzy Giants. Wouldn't be that cool. Imagine if that would be a trick, guys. Turret killing Frenzy Giants. That would be so amazing. I would seriously love if we could be able to do it. But apparently, we cannot look at all the Frenzy Giants coming. They're so dumb. <laughs> they have no clue what's waiting for them. Okay, so now let's go quickly inside before these Frenzy Giants attack me. Gonna go... Gonna open this up, gonna gather this Frenzy Giant. I mean, gonna aggro this Frenzy Giant, right? Let's get back outside. So if I didn't kill that one Frenzy Giant who was down in that corner just in the beginning of the third floor, then I would be able to kill 10 of them at the same time. But now we're just gonna kill 9 of them at the same time. And again, it's not a big deal. Well, will I be able to hide here behind that wall? Hopefully he's not gonna come behind me. Nah, he's just stuck here. So yeah, we're gonna wait for those other Frenzy Giants. And oh boy, it's gonna be a pleasure to the eyes and to everything. Look at all of them coming here. I'm a bit scared because... It looks like maybe maybe this wall isn't gonna save me okay why that other frenzy giant went to the why these frenzy giants go to the room what is going on man why just why why did they go to that room okay they all punched me well i gotta get out of here then oh my god those stupid frenzy giants ruined everything why did they go inside of that room because they're brainless yes indeed they're brainless maybe they do have a little bit of a brain but it's probably rotten. And this time I will try to definitely be more careful with my grenades. I could definitely spread shot them. That would be perfect spread shot. But like I said, I don't want to use my spread shots here on these Frenzy Giants because I know I feel using grenades is just more cool. Okay, they're all coming. Plus, those two probably Frenzy Giants are coming after me as well. So I'm just going to wait over here. So after all of them come together, there are going to be nine of them. It is just interesting. I didn't do that a lot of times. And I seriously suggest you gathering your grenades. Like, you will need only three grenades to finish all of them. And that's what I will do. I'll definitely use three grenades to finish nine Frenzy Giants. That's definitely worth it. Super worth it. Here go all of the Frenzy Giants now at the same spot. Look at that. They're just destroying that wall. Here go they punching, punching it. Here go. Let's wait. Let's wait. All of them are coming. So I'll try to go like I don't know how far am I gonna go, but this is how I'll go. This is where I'll throw the grenade. Is that gonna be okay? Let's wait. Let's wait. Did they all explode? Yes, indeed. They all got some damage. Here we're gonna throw one more grenade. Hopefully that's not too far away. Here we go. Probably one of them didn't get some damage, but here we go. Let's use one more grenade from over here, I guess. Yeah, that's too early, too early, too early. Or maybe that's gonna be fine. Yes, most of them exploded besides only one Frenzy Giant who has a 100 health left because he either was too far away or something. So let's just use one shot from this flare gun and they all gonna be dead. So look at that, guys. Nine Frenzy Giants with grenades. One, two, three, four, five tickets. Nine. That was definitely fun. You cannot say that this wasn't pleasant to the eye. I loved it. And three grenades to kill those Frenzy Giants is definitely worth it. So again, like that burglar skill is super important. Hopefully a lot of people are gonna get it. And I've heard some comments from people 
people saying that they're like level 110 and they still don't have uh, the burglar skill. That's that's sad. Seriously, everybody should have the burglar skill. Wish there was uh, like some sort of a place, you know, some sort of a character like in those RPG games where you go see the character and you'll be able to get that burglar skill regardless if you're lucky or not lucky. But at the same time, it's still possible to get 200 levels if you play this game pretty often. So in any case, you'll be able to get that burglar skill. It's still better system than we had before, but I wish that more people got their burglar skill early enough because when you're going to be level 200, you won't really care about that burglar skill anyways. And if you're getting it at the at the level 200, then it's not going to be that super fun. Whatever, let's loot the box. We're going to get here another grenade. And I think that's where I'm going to be saving my grenades now for. I'll be saving my old grenades for the Frenzy Giants. And every other grenade that I have will go to police department because using grenades at police department is still super worth it. So here we go. Now we're going to activate this hard mode bunker and we'll try to go and kill the blind one with some melee weapons. Hopefully that's going to work out and then we'll be able to open up red crate and get four extra guns. And oh boy, I don't have space for them. Mm -mm -mm. Is that a flex? Probably not really. And again, if you don't know how to get guns, I suggest you checking out that new playlist that I started where we're playing in the new account. I think I already got there like 10 guns or something. So as a level 34 player, we already opened up red crate. So definitely make sure to check those out. Check that playlist out if you need some tips on how to get guns. So here we're gonna maybe try to spread shot some of these schmucks. Because why not? You know what? I just realized that in the hard mode, a flare gun looks epic. Look at how great it looks like. It's seriously pretty damn epic, man. I love it. Well, I just got stuck over here. What the hell, man? I don't want to die from the exploder. Oh my goodness. Almost barely survived. I got stuck there in the corner. Uh, It's annoying. Whenever I get stuck, it's really annoying. So here we go. Now we're going to activate this terminal and I'll try to go and kill the blind one with tactical set because I believe that in my new account... Uh, I will be using tactical set to kill the blind one and we'll see how that's gonna go. I'll try to use skull crushers. I'll try to use pipes to fight him. I also gonna try to use as many bandages as possible because I think I'll be using bandages to kill the blind one in that new account. And if I'll be able to kill him here, then I'll be able to kill him in that other account. Here we go. Let's get inside with the full health and hopefully, hopefully that is gonna work. If it's not gonna work, everything is gonna be okay. Not a big deal. Here we go. Soaked in some damage. Gonna heal up almost fully and gonna start attacking that bad boy. Oh my god, it's gonna take a lot of time to fight a man. We could even use this pipe like this all the time, but I don't think it's super worth it. But it's at least something more interesting rather than using shotgun all the time, where I don't even have to think how to fight him. So let's hope that maybe somehow it will still be possible to kill the blind one. But the whole point of killing the blind one is because he drops those 10 red tickets, and with these 10 red tickets, we can get guns. And if we can get 30 red tickets without wasting a single gun, then just imagine how valuable that's gonna be. Here we go, probably he's gonna heal up very soon. Yes, indeed. He's gonna go heal up. I stopped him from healing up and we already use 10 bandages right to get 300 health 10 bandages so oh my goodness so we're gonna use like 30 bandages or something maybe even more oh my goodness and is this set even gonna be enough i believe that maybe it's not gonna be even enough and definitely have to keep an eye on my health because i'm using here bandages to heal up not first aid kits what is he doing i have no idea why was he running like crazy maybe using saw blade maze would be here more efficient so maybe maybe we'll try to use saw blade maze well here we go he's gonna attack me so this time okay i didn't take saw blade maces ah well he's almost at 500 health and it's not like we need a lot of melee weapons like i think we done so much damage just with one melee weapon just with that one fully modded pipe so no oh my god Zarek, why you were so quick why can't you just wait i don't know why i'm an idiot so i'm back at alpha bunker and i took these two shotguns and stack of first aid because that should be enough to kill the blind one and hopefully i'm not gonna fail because if i fail i'm gonna lose all of these items over there but hey everything should be okay and also i wasn't able to kill him with these melee weapons but by the looks of it i didn't even use my full stack of bandages for 500 hp from that blind one and at the same time i used only one melee weapon to do like 500 damage so by the looks of it i will need like like at least roughly speaking like four fully unmodded pipes like four stacks of bandages and two tactical sets and that should be more than enough to deal with the blind one that's at least what i will do in my other account but now let's open so it well at least i'll try to go and take my tactical set right gonna go take this and take the rest of the items that i could hopefully not gonna die and i'm gonna kill him now with these shotguns because I already wasted a lot of time killing him and I've gathered all the information that I needed. I dealt him 500 damage. I know what kind of resources I need. I was kind of an idiot because I started walking too close when he was still charging at me. And I remember that once when I was streaming, people told me that I'm way too close to the blind one, but I didn't listen and here we go. I just died. Well, we're just gonna wait. Definitely with the shotgun and using first aid kits here. It's way faster, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll even use first aid kits in that other account because it's still possible to gather a couple of stacks of first aid kits just by doing Bunker Alpha. I think I already have like a stack of eight kids there and we'll see if i'll have a lot of shotguns maybe i'll try to kill him with the shotgun because in any case it's faster you save more sets using shotguns 
Okay, almost died there once again. Okay, gotta be definitely careful. Okay, let's heal that up. So if I have fully modded shotgun, right? I don't even have to use two shotguns. Like, I used like only one full durability shotgun and that's it. Do I? Because I had only one shotgun here and I didn't even use it fully. Look at that and we're almost done with the blind one here. So when you have fully modded shotgun, it's definitely worth it to just pop him with the shotguns. You don't have to spend here hours and hours fighting him with melee weapons. Because just look at that. I think he's gonna die now. And I used like only, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think I used only like 80% durability of my shotgun and... Uh, yeah, let's take all of these items. Three notebooks. Oh, here go. Let's take those notebooks. And what do I have over here? Okay, still a lot of items to take. Well, there's nothing I can do. I'll most likely have to come back and take this set. So even if it was a fail, even if I failed to kill that blind one, I still think it was like a learning curve. It was a lesson for me that I shouldn't be so close. And uh, at least now I know more or less what kind of things I have to take. And maybe I don't even need two tactical sets. Like uh, when I said four stacks of bandages, like four melee weapons and two sets, I don't think I will really need that. I think I'll need only half of that but let's just take more in that other account just to be safe. Okay, we're gonna open up a red crate, definitely. Bada bingus, please give me a C4 and I'll be happy with it. If we're gonna get a C4, I'll be very happy. And if we didn't get a C4, totally not happy. As you can see, we're just facing... <laughs> Pretty garbage red crate, seriously. Uh, garbage red crate, as I just need C4s. That's the only reason why I grinded for that red crate. Okay, let's give him all of these chevrons and little items. Boop, almost, almost ready to get another floppy crate, so that's cool. Okay, let's quickly deal with this. Fancy giant with my shout. Go get out of my place, man. Okay, he started being fast. Boop. One shot, another shot. Here we go. He's totally dead. Give me your notebooks. I think I'm also gonna kill a couple of dudes because I wanna get that floppy crate, so let's get it. Psycho, you're gonna open up floppy crate in this episode? Yes, indeed. We're gonna be opening up floppy crate in this episode. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take all of these barbingas. Boop. Here we go. Let's try to kill all of them. Cyric, you might be asking me why am I wasting my shotguns here? I have no idea, to be honest. Okay, whatever. Let's see how much damage will all those bullets do to these exploders. And it's pretty cool. They burn, man. They burn. They definitely look cool when they're burning. Okay, whatever. Let's shred with this. I think one more shot. He's dead. Wow, we definitely did a crit damage with the shotgun. Like, fully modded shotgun, I would say, is the strongest weapon. Maybe AK is gonna be the strongest uh, weapon when it's fully modded. But, like, dude, you cannot say that spread shot and that fully modded thingy is bad. Like, by no means, man. It's insanely good. Okay, most likely gonna gather all of these schmucks and maybe, maybe gonna do a little bit of spread shot to them. Okay, barely died. Almost died. I mean, that's what I tried to say. Oof, doing wall trick with these three dudes. Here we go, boop. Okay, Toxica Bomb is almost dead. Okay, now let's do some damage to the Exploder. Okay, we're going one more shot. Exploder is dead. Bada bingus. Super cool, super worth it. Okay, now let's do some damage to the French Giant. I love flare gun. I seriously love flare guns. And for those who don't know, we can get flare guns at the fourth floor. Here we go. Let's hide behind here. The wall. Is he gonna just die from the flare guns? Probably. Okay, he did not. Let's do one more bullet. Here we go. He's gonna die right now. They look super pretty, especially in the hard mode bunker when everything is red, when everything already has that red tint and plus the flames on him. They look dope. They look very epic. And I just realized that I have true friend dog and at the fourth floor, there is one secret door that you can open pretty much easily just in the beginning. So maybe true friend dog is kind of worth it. I have no idea, man. So there's still a lot of things that we'll be doing today because you said that you like longer videos. So let's do longer videos. So smash like for longer <laughs> videos. Well, I think that should be definitely enough for the floppy crate. So what we'll try to do, open up the floppy crate, go to the fourth floor with my true friend doggo and open up that secret door. So I believe that you can open up two secret doors every time your bunker resets because if you have true friend dog you can just go to the fourth floor in the simple mode and there's gonna be that door you can open it up and after you activate hard mode bunker you can go over there because there's really only a few zombies that you can kill and then you'll be able to open up that free secret door so i don't know i don't know man pretty worth it in my opinion maybe at least so here we go let's give him all of these items right now bada bingus let's definitely take my floppy crate let's give that boop and we're definitely gonna get the floppy crate today just like i said boop so now we gotta go get Get rid of these crates. We got to bring the loot back to the top, loot back to the base and do all the other garbage. So let's just do it. So now I'm going to feed my puppies pretty, pretty quickly. Okay, I don't have any meat besides these turkeys. So I think we're going to give them a little bit of turkeys and let's not overfeed them. That's why I'm not feeding a lot of meat for them because there's still people sometimes asking, well, why you're not feeding puppies with more stuff? Just give them stack of turkey and stuff like that. But the point is, it's not worth it to give your puppy stack of turkey because they're just going to eat all of it. And what's the point of feeding them when they don't die? If you don't feed them, if you know what I mean. And also, I almost forgot. Let's call the raiders maybe 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 we'll get some sort of tasks you know like get c4 and uh, this way i'll get a c4 right now because we're still going to that floppy crate location so here we go these are the pops let's give them a little bit of food that's gonna last for one hour perfect perfect okay okay so now let's go let's meet the raiders and let's see if i'll need to get a c4 would be really cool if that was the task actually to get a c4 and no we don't have to get it let's see if here make three deals with the dealer no you and i can i have to recycle three guns are you kidding me and second floor that's a lot of work man well let's start doing the task let's recycle 
recycle the Uzi and some people might go nuts. Oh my god, Tech, you're recycling Uzi. How can you do it? The point is, what else can I recycle? And there will be people saying, well, sorry, just recycle low durability guns. The point is, I have five trunks of guns, so I will recycle full durability Uzis. And at the same time, Uzis are going to be probably the best weapons to recycle because if you have a lot of other guns, that's just what I'm trying to say. If you have a lot of other weapons, such as, let's say, Glocks, M16s and stuff like that, then just recycle Uzis because what's the point of recycling M16s and Glocks? Because you're going to have Glocks and M16s more than Uzi. That's just what I'm trying to say because I do know that Uzi is a great weapon, especially if you're fully modded. But is your Uzi fully modded? No. So recycle them and don't worry what your what other people tell you unless if you really think that uzi is the best then use your uzi have fun with it but if you think that uzi is crap but somebody is telling you that uzi is the best especially when it's fully modded don't listen to them recycle it <laughs> because why not just the point is do whatever you want to do <laughs> oh my god why am i even talking about it i mean the point is you should be doing whatever you want to do in the first place okay so now we're gonna descend to the fourth floor and oh boy i've been already recording here for an hour and a half so boom and this episode again is gonna be like max probably just 20 minutes because I try to keep them as short as as entertaining as possible. So please guys smash that like button. Okay, whatever. Let's deal with these fast biters and uh, that's the only reason why I came here for. Just open up that secret door and then we'll go and open up that floppy crate that everybody's waiting for. Here we go. They're all dead. Give me those items. Bada bingus. Let's heal up a little bit and let's open up this secret door with my doggo in the hard mode bunker and maybe, maybe, maybe we're gonna get... Just one copper, dude. Are you kidding me? Well, there's also another door where I can get a grenade. So that's what I'll try to do. Maybe let's try to get that grenade at least. There we go. Killed both of them. Please at least give me grenade. I'll be happy about it. And can't wait to get that burglar skill in my new account. I said it 100 times, maybe 200 times, but still. And we got a nade. Yeet. So now for real, guys, with this snap transition, see you at the floppy crate location. Good evening. We are at the floppy crate location. And let's see. Let's see if this is going to be an infected box. If we're going to get there in milk or MGL. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Let's just open that up. Get Okay, this is not an infected box, and hopefully this AK is going to be enough. And we just leveled up. Pretty cool. Let's take my skill, and we got nothing. Okay, let's take the gluten thingy. Let's open that up. Okay, give me something nice, seriously. At least, at, at least an MGL, and I'll be happy. Like, if I get it, I'll be great. And we didn't get it. We got a blue blueprint that I definitely have. Green laser, let's take that. We got two C4s, obviously, and an M16. Well, not a bad crate opening, but somebody would say, you know... You need to get here an MGL to be happy about it, but that's totally true. You need definitely to get here an MGL, but I didn't get here my grenade launcher, so uh, F's in the chat, still better than nothing. So much grind for nothing, seriously. It's like saying better than nothing, but still so much grind for nothing. Then who do you believe in? <laughs> well, in any case, it was a pretty fun episode, so definitely make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, because why not? Add a Pisaiwak tag is over here on the screen. Oh my god. So if you are bored and you really want to watch a cool Let's Play, then click here on the first card and you'll go to Detroit become human let's play or click here on the second card and you'll watch a recommended video just for you and I'm uploading such videos on YouTube every single day so make sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos also guys drop that like button while we're at it and peace 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 out mm -hmm. yeah